Welcome to Art Bites. I'm Miki Loschke, a gallery teacher at the Beach Museum of Art. And today we'll look at Patricia de Boss Duncan's Warm to the Brave, a series of nine mixed media drawings that reflect her fascination for the tall grass prairie and the Japanese art forms of calligraphy, poetry, and paper making. Duncan was born in Nashville, Tennessee in 1932. She attended Washington University in St. Louis, receiving a BFA in painting and printmaking. While living in Japan with her husband, who was in military, she studied woodblock painting and began to immerse herself in Japanese aesthetics leading to her first solo exhibition in Sasebo, Japan in 1956. After coming back to the US, Duncan became an advocate for establishing the Tallgrass Prairie National Preserve in Kansas. The Tallgrass Prairie ecosystem, including native plants, species of animals, birds, insects, and other wildlife became the focus of her work in photography, painting, printmaking, and mixed media. To educate the public about the importance of the prairie, she created the 1976 photographic ex exhibition for the Smithsonian Institute's Traveling Exhibition Program it toured all 50 states and can be viewed on the museum website at the link here. Duncan also authored the book Tall Grass Prairie, The Inland Sea, 1978. The art of Patricia Dubois Duncan was exhibited at the Beach Museum of Art in 2001 and accompanied by the Prairie Through New Eyes curriculum, which can be found in the resources section of the museum's website. Duncan currently resides in Maine. Japanese poetry was something written on a decorated paper to form an album of separate themes. This tradition may have been an influence for the series, Poem to the Prairie. The album Leaf on the Left is by Fujiwara no Sadano, a 12th century Japanese calligrapher. Beautifully written poems on decorated paper, such as the leaf shown here, were often given as gifts. The writing on this leaf is in the cursive calligraphy style, sometimes called grass style. Duncan's charcoal markings seem to reference both the style and the actual literal prairie grasses. Duncan obtained sample sheets of handmade paper and drew with charcoal on them to assist customers in selecting and ordering paper. Each sample bears the name of the paper type in Chinese characters, known in Japanese as kanji. Duncan liked the poetic nature references in the paper sample names and thought the kanji themselves are beautiful. So she incorporated them into her artwork. For example, paper samples names include Kikyo, Lucky Omen, Kimika, Fragrance of a Gentleman, and Seikaiha, 
blue ocean waves, and so on. Let's take a minute to look at one of the drawings more closely. Notice the decorated paper, the kanji characters that would have identified the paper, the establishment of a horizon line, and finally, the addition of the grasses drawn in charcoal. As we finish the last three images of Form to the Prairie, I'd like to leave you with a couple of questions to think about. Do Patricia Duncan's drawings remind you of the Prairie? How would you represent that vast ocean space of waving grasses? Thank you for joining us today and we hope to see you again soon.